of the Federal Reserve this week raised interest rates another quarter percentage point, making them the highest in more than two decades. The move is supposed to cool the economy, encouraging less spending and more saving by making purchases, especially big ticket items, more expensive. Our Ethan Kibbe joins us now with a look at the effects of the rate hike in the region. Ethan, are higher rates driving down consumer demand? Mike, when you think interest rates, perhaps the first thing that comes to mind, houses and mortgages. Higher rates mean you'll pay more to buy a home, but just how much? We crunch some numbers today. Take a look at this. Over here, we have interest rates at the start of 2022, about a year and a half ago. Let's say you're buying a $200,000 home. You put down 25%. That means you need a $150,000 loan. Over the course of that, if we're assuming a 30-year mortgage, which is pretty standard, at interest rates at the start of 2022, you'd pay $78,000 in interest on top of that $150,000 loan. Now let's talk about what you'd pay right now. Interest rates above 7% for most people looking to buy a home. On that same house, $200,000 home, $150,000 loan. Now you'd pay more than $200,000 just in interest. Plus, of course, the $150,000 $150, loan you owe in the first place. That's how much interest rates have gone up since the Fed started ratcheting up those rates last year. The question is, is it cooling demand? The Fed wants consumers to spend less, but are they? Realtors in our region say, frankly, no. The market just keeps humming along. It boomed post-COVID, and although some realtors say they are seeing a dip in inventory, some people are now a little less anxious to sell, for the most part, demand is still outpacing supply. The property you're looking at here, it was listed a week ago. It sold in a handful of days, more than 20 offers on it, most of them well above the list price, and I mean way above. House prices are still near record highs, and one way or another, buyers keep finding the money. I've never seen a market last this long. I've seen buyer's markets and seller's markets come and go um, over my career, but I've never seen one last this long. And it just seems like the consumers, they don't care. They want their homes, they want to buy, and they're doing what they have to do to get their homes. One has to think at some point this will level out, but the question is when, so far, no end in sight. One other thing to note, one area where you will, will really be clobbered by these interest rate hikes, credit cards. They already carry high interest rates, and as rates go up, the rate you're going to pay on that credit card debt goes up too. So if you can, pay off your credit cards. Prioritize that. Try to avoid going into credit card debt now because you're looking at rates maybe 25 to 30 percent interest. That does a number on the bottom line. Ethan Kippy, Erie News Now.